Well, hello again. <clears throat> I would like you guys to meet, <clears throat> excuse me, Jack Lemley. Jack is a graduate in 1960 of the University of Idaho. And um, he went on to become a world famous tunnel builder. Yeah, tunnel builder. <clears throat> he built a tunnel from, was it France to Paris? For the queen, no, no, no us. He has traveled all over the world and done these. In fact, the tunnel is called, he called it a channel, C-H-U-N-N-E-L. But yeah, he actually um, recently passed. He actually, um, um, when he retired, he came back to live back in this area. I believe he was in, Bo might have been Boise, but he was from this, from Moscow, I believe. But he just, he, I don't know if the family was there or not, but. But he passed maybe, I don't know, four, five months ago, maybe? Anyway, he still looks pretty darn young. I guess he was pretty spry. But I'm going to read you a little bit about these things that he loved to do. And I wonder if he used to practice somewhere else, like, you know, when he was going to school. <laughs> so, he actually, Jack, Jack of all trades, of course, the, uh, the, the channel tunnel, so they put it together, called it the channel, and it was between Great Britain and France, and it's an engineering marvel that might have remained on the drawing board if it weren't for the man who maintained his office in a coverted home in Boise, Boise's North End. Jack Lemley graduated in 1960 from the University of Idaho with a degree in architecture. He worked for a few years as an engineer in San Francisco for a San Francisco company before moving his family to Boise in 1977 to take a job with Morrison um, Knudsen. He came on at MK as the executive vice president in charge of heavy construction. He managed major projects there until 1988 when he was passed over for a position of the CEO in the favor of Bill Aggie. <clears throat> I've heard that name before, interesting. One can't help but wonder if MK would still be around if the decision had gone the other way. Lemley, reg <clears throat> Lemley's resignation, sorry, my, I'm really having a hard time with t my um, breathing today. Lemley's resignation from MK came just in time for him to land the contract to supervise the construction of the channel. I love that, love that they did it like that. It is about as big a job as they get. More than 15,000 people worked on that project. It resulted in two train tunnels and a service tunnel, more than 31 miles long and as deep as 380 feet below sea level. That's crazy. <clears throat> For his work on the project, Lemley was awarded the Order of Merit and Queen Elizabeth named him commander of the British Empire. How cool is that? After the channel was complete, Lemley became CEO of U.S. Um, Ecology in Houston. He moved the firm's headquarters to Boise. <clears throat> Even Boiseans, who are well-traveled, probably see another project of Lemley's much more often than they see the channel. His firm designed and constructed the Idaho Water Center at the front, at the corner of Front and Broadway. It's the home of the University of Idaho graduate engineering programs in Boise. Lemley had his hand in dozens of major projects from Seattle's Interstate 90 to Interstate 5 interchange to the Trans-Panama Pipeline. A popular figure in Great Britain because of his success with the Channel Project, Lemley was chosen to build the venues and infrastructures for the 2000, or 2012 Olympics in London. Wow, that's crazy. Crazy cool. Frustrated with political wrangling, he resigned the position in 2006. Lemley was inducted into the Idaho Hall of Fame in 1997 and into the Idaho Technology Council Council's Hall of Fame in 2011. Lemley's son, Jim, is a manager of a different kind of a big project. He is a film producer best known for The Diving Bell and The Butterfly and Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Slayer. Whoa, they need that vampire slayer here in Moscow, Idaho, I think. He should go back. Anyway, here's Jack. <clears throat> yeah, speaking of Idaho history posts, 
I don't know, I'm gonna read all this. There's some really great, really super great um, literature on him. He seems like a very fascinating man, and he loved what he did. Loved it. Didn't want to stop. And he actually looks really nice. He looks like a nice man to me. Anyway, there's your history lesson for today, kids. I hope you ate your lunch good, and you were nice on the playground, and you, you know, didn't harm anybody else. You were just very polite. I would really appreciate that. Threw your trash away after you got to eat lunch. <laughs> I see Mary and Tommy. Oh, I'm dating myself now. All right. Well, there you go. He must have. Can you imagine him as a little kid running around with like a, you know, with mom's like wooden spoon, you know, and a pot. And he's out there digging, trying to dig, 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 trying to make his own little channel, channel in the yard to underneath the house. <laughs> I wonder if he put a time capsule under there. No, serious. I wonder if he really did, you know, what you got to practice. you got to start somewhere, right? Why not at home? Look at him smiling at us. He is, he's got secrets, this man. He is smiling about something. Check that out. All right, have a great one.